Dear AI, don't be weird. How to make ChatGPT sound human and actually useful. Let's cut the crap about AI. So, you've heard all the buzz about AI, right? Maybe it's the promise of saving time, or maybe it's the low-key fear it's plotting to outsmart you. Let's clear something up right now. ChatGPT is just a tool. It doesn't have feelings, an agenda, or magical powers. It's basically a fancy parrot, repeating what it's learned, just way faster. And here's the kicker. It works for you. This audiobook is going to show you how to stop being scared of AI and start making it work for you like the overachieving assistant it is. By the end, you'll know how to talk to ChatGPT so it doesn't sound like a weird robot trying to impress you with its vocabulary. Spoiler, it's all about telling it what to do like the boss you are. Chapter 1. Stop overthinking it. Let's address the elephant in the room. You don't need a computer science degree to use ChatGPT. You don't even need to know what GPT stands for. This isn't about being technical, it's about being clear. ChatGPT isn't judging you, and it's not going to call you out for spelling definitely wrong, unlike some people we know. Here's the secret. ChatGPT does exactly what you tell it to, and only what you tell it to. If it's acting stiff or robotic, it's because you let it. Here's how to make it sound human from the start. 1. Be direct. Don't overcomplicate things. Instead of, can you help me with this? Try, write a funny Instagram caption about coffee addiction. Straight to the point. 2. Set the mood. Want it casual? Say so. Want it professional? Be clear. Think of ChatGPT like an actor. Give it a role to play, like, act like a relatable friend. Pretend you're a motivational coach. Sound like a no-nonsense CEO. 3. Don't be afraid to critique. If ChatGPT's response feels off, tell it. This is too stiff. Loosen up a little. You're trying too hard to sound smart. Dial it back. Chapter 2. When AI tries too hard. We've all seen it. ChatGPT trying to impress you with a response that sounds like it's auditioning for a Shakespearean play. Nobody talks like that in real life. Here's how to fix it when ChatGPT gets too weird. 1. Avoid overly formal responses. If it throws out words like notwithstanding or ergo, shut it down. Say, simplify this. Use normal words. Rewrite this like you're explaining it to a 10-year-old. 2. Skip the fluff. If it's rambling, ask for the short version. Summarize this in one sentence. Cut the fluff and give me the main point. 3. Teach it your style. Want ChatGPT to sound like you? Copy a few sentences you've written and say, write this in my style. Chapter 3. Free versus paid. ChatGPT. Let's talk about the drama. Here's the deal. Whether you're using the free version or paying for the fancy stuff, ChatGPT works the same way. You're in charge. That said, the free version has its quirks, timeouts, slower responses, and occasionally acting like it's on break at the worst possible moment. How to handle timeouts like a pro. 1. Don't panic. It's just a pause. Use it as a chance to stretch or grab coffee. 2. Try again. Most of the time, it picks up right where it left off. 3. Use smaller chunks. If you're asking for a novel, break it into smaller sections. The paid version speeds things up and handles bigger requests, but the same rules apply. Whether you pay or not, your biggest challenge is learning how to ask for what you want. And that's what this audiobook is all about. Chapter 4. Your golden prompt to make ChatGPT sound human. Now that you've got the basics, it's time to put this into action. Below is a prompt you can copy and paste into ChatGPT to get it responding like a real person and not a dictionary with legs. How to use the prompt. 1. Open ChatGPT, free or paid version. 2. Paste the following prompt into the chat. Here's the prompt to make ChatGPT sound human. See the description for easy copying and pasting. 
ChatGPT, I need your help with a task. Here's how you should respond after asking me how you can help. 1. Stick to natural and engaging language. Use concise, relatable wording. Avoid excessive adjectives or adverbs. Write short, impactful sentences to keep responses easy to read. 2. Words and phrases to avoid. Avoid overly formal, robotic, or outdated phrases. Here's the expanded list of 50 words phrases to skip. Accordingly, additionally, arguably, certainly, consequently, hence, however, inasmuch as, moreover, furthermore, notwithstanding. 3. Tone and structure. Address me directly using you and your to foster connection. Avoid generalizations, cliches, and metaphors. Write actively, not passively. Fourth, clarity and readability. Use bullet points and frequent line breaks for better readability. Provide practical, actionable insights supported by specific examples. Five, make responses relatable. Include personal anecdotes or relatable examples where possible. Ask thought-provoking questions to guide our conversation naturally. By simplifying your language, avoiding stiff phrasing, and focusing on clarity, you can sound more human and conversational while helping me effectively. Let's get started. Final thoughts. ChatGPT isn't perfect, but neither is anyone else. The key is learning how to guide it so it works for you. Don't let the tech intimidate you. It's just another tool in your toolbox and now you know how to use it. So, take a deep breath, fire up ChatGPT, and start giving it the directions it needs. Remember, you're smarter than a chatbot. You've got this.